In this question, we haven't been told whether u and v are integers, so they may or may not be, but they are positive. That means that u over v will be less than 1 if and only if u is less than v. If, on the other hand, v is greater than u, then u over v will be greater than 1. For example, take the cases 8 over 9 or 8.1 over 9.2. In both cases, the numerator is a number that's less than the denominator, so the fraction is less than 1. Similarly, if the inverse is true, we have a fraction that's greater than 1. We can keep this in mind when evaluating the statements. Let's do that starting with statement 1 alone. Statement 1 tells us that uv squared is greater than 1. We already knew that uv was positive. The fact that it's greater than 1 when squared means it was already greater than 1. That subject is covered in the math review of this course and also in the official test maker's rubric, and you can see it by playing with numbers. So we can conclude that uv is greater than 1. Is that enough to know, however, whether u or v is greater? It is not. We can see by cases u could be 1 billion and v could be 1, or vice versa. So we don't have sufficient information to identify which is greater and therefore to answer the question. Statement 1 is insufficient. Statement 2, after the first statement, is like a gift. If we had noticed it initially, we might have evaluated it first. That's okay as long as we evaluate each data statement separately before daring to contemplate whether we have to combine them. If we add v to both sides of this statement, then we obtain u is greater than v. So we have data that u is larger than v, and that means that u over v will always be greater than 1. Therefore, we have information to answer the question definitively, and statement 2 is sufficient. The correct answer is B.